Hello, everybody. Welcome back here to High Button Sports as we get set for another game here as the Rage taking on the Wolverines on our rare weekday game here in the U15 League as making up for some lost time, I suppose. Here back at the form for the first time in a long time. You know what the form means? It means we get this eagle eye view and, you know, we take the good with the bad and... One thing I like about this rink is it always kind of gives you an idea to watch that play develop as we're looking here from above. One of the most historic rinks in the city. We're off to the races here. That puck worked over to the right side. It's going to be under into the feet. That one grabbed by the Rage. Try to move that up to Welsh. It's going to be knocked back the other way up the left side. Scotland, it moves by Scotland and it's picked up along the left side boards. Down low along the half wall, try to steer that puck out in front, rolls off the stick, Basil, and it just goes through as he gets a quick look at that one in this game. Picked up on the right side here for the Rage, lead pass in through the middle, looking for Baldwin. It's going to snap on back, and the Wolverines are able to head back and retreat into their zone. Hand it off there to the left side, back and forth go the Wolverines as they try to move it out of their end. Move it up through the middle, Bottomley's gonna pick that puck up. Bottomley moves on to the right, that one steered off by Sherry. Bottomley follows his own rebound as that one's sent on through. Rage now, cut move to the right side. Looking to move that puck in and a big hit over there on the right side and a nice job for the Wolverines to get some early momentum. Off the hit and Steered back into the back end there, past the stick of Corkum as we're here in our first period. That one wrapping along the end boards, picked up off the wall and sent back over to Kidd. Kidd's going to pick it up. Steered into the right side corner, try to center, and it's kicked away there. And now back up for the Wolverines. Heading down the right side. Nogler can't quite get it through because it's played off. In behind and snapped across. Through the middle and back to Boudreaux. Boudreaux hands it off to his deep partner. Down here in front, Rage pick it up, try to stick handle that out, but it's dropped on back. Wolverines now under here, and we get our first whistle of the game, and it looks to be the delayed offside. We'll head into the Wolverines end here as we start action. Back here, like I said, for the U15, not your average Saturday night or Sunday morning game like we're used to in this league. Wednesday night, the only show in town. Boudreaux, he moves it up the wall and in below us, it'll be snapped back through. And now Delory, Delory on the right side. He gets that over to Todd. Todd just played up the wall, shot in. That one's gonna miss in behind. Grabbed off the one hop. It'll be two on two down there in the corner. Battled for down low is the ref letting them run. Eventually, Rage picked that out, trying to get it centered. Back to the blue line, quick shot in and missing the mark as they'll take another look to get that one out. Wolverines down here in front now, down the right side. Return fire, we'll try again. Back down in front, and the back and forth continues as that one's freed up in the middle for a moment. All tries to stay on it, past the stick of Cluett. Wolverines snap that over to the right side, and now it's picked up again. I mean, what a unique way to watch a hockey game like this, folks. See the play develop right in front of your eyes. For us hockey nerds, it's ideal. Down into the left side, one-on-one -on -one as the Wolverines try to move it out. Knocked off the stick, hum. Back and behind. Brewer tries to get that puck through. It'll be knocked back to Scotland. Scotland, friend of High Button Sports, has been mic'd up. He's done interviews. And he just got laid out there. The captain of the Rage team trying to make a move. Is that sent back? Going to go for a big skate up the right side. Trying to move that by Bottomley. Two men who attend the high performance camp at St. of X in the summer. 
going at it as that puck snapped on over and up to the middle. Bottomly, Bottomly up the left side. Bottomly steers that in front. It's kicked off back and behind. Bottomly going to pick it up again. Turns it over to the middle and it makes it through some skates somehow, but then eventually sent back and now down the right side back to Scotland. Scotland up through the middle. Pucks fought for. And it's down in and Wolverine's gonna come out with it. Corkum played that back over to the left side. Steered in behind and now high up the wall. Drop down through, try to thread that pass across. Back to the line, kept in. Looking for a shot from distance, can't get it away. Baldwin passes that off, shot again, missing. Down low on the left side, looking for that centering. Oldstead has to step into it. He'll send that back in behind. Couple stick lifts in front, but it still gets worked out and big rebound and loose covered up. And we'll get a whistle here with 9.48 left to go here in this first period as they get tied up. Left side now as we'll get the switch off here. So the Rage currently one standing ahead of the Wolverines here, but 11 point gap. So quite a large gap between these two teams, but they are next to each other in the standings and just looking to finish out the season here strong, both sides as we head into the final weeks and the final seeding. Wolverines. Three points ahead of the Hurricane, so we're gonna wanna stay ahead of them heading into the end here. At the top of the league, the Cougars and the Bandits currently tied with 57 points with the same amount of games played, so dead even after 26 games. Still anyone's regular season title to win as we get down to the end here, and the Nova's not far behind with 55 points. We know it's gonna be an exciting finish here in the U15 league in the 2023-24 season as there is a penalty on the board there. So the penalty is against the Wolverines. As it's played back and a chance here, Welsh up the right side. Welsh cuts back, plays to Scotland. Scotland across back to Welsh. Quick little shot, that one's gonna be blocked in front. Nice job there to not let the shot get through in the first attempt of the power play. Scotland over to the right side. Rage holding. That one's back down in front here and it's gonna be moved back out the right side. Up through the middle, Scotland. Back in behind, Hum leaves that. Picked up by Gerard. Played over and now the penalty killing unit gets it sent down the length of the ice, Sherry. Sherry pokes it ahead to Welsh on the right side. Oh, and a big stick coming in there, knocking them off, but they'll continue the forward momentum moving north. As it's played into the end boards, Gerard takes a hit to try to make the play. It still stays tied up there, and now a second clear with 53 seconds left to go on the man advantage. Back in behind Welsh. He picks it up up the right side. Moving through, McAvoy now laying up against the boards and stopping that attempt as it's stick handled on the left side, drop back Gallant, held on, centering pass over to Welsh, he shoots high and it rides into the mesh and we get a whistle here, 8.08 left to go here in the first period, 24 seconds left to go in that Rage power play. We're on the right side, low shot. That one steered off into the corner. Rage come out with it. McDonald down low, and that one up high, almost caught some sort of angle as the power play over now with four seconds. Picked up, snapped over to the right side. 
Rage looking to move it through. Past the stick and we're back to even strength here. Puck in behind, Gerard. Gerard run off into the boards, trying to get that pass out. Back to McDonald. McDonald shoots down low, tries to jam it in and a good whack at it from a tough angle. Creating some chances here. Wolverines looking to get it out, kicked up to the middle. Just ahead. As the puck gets sent into the end boards and Gerard, who's had a hefty shift out there, is gonna continue on. Cut back and played to the right side. Puck goes about halfway into the rage zone and then it's retreated back, still 0-0 here. As we continue on and approach the end of our first frame. Over here on the right side, back and behind for Gerard. Gerard lead pass to the right. That one's gonna be out of the reach. Sent down. McDonald tries to get that around. Picked up by the Rage and now kicked back to center and down the right side. Hillier gonna grab that. Hillier fires it over. Picked up on the far side, looking to move it forward and Sherry's just gonna take the easy cover here. Now 6.17 left to go here in our first period. And face off will come here to the left side. Bottomley back out there. Bottomley, fantastic season for that young man as he puts up almost a point per game. On a team as it's rolling through the middle and oh my goodness, the Wolverines just poked that one through as the referee was in a perfect spot. And Sherry, after making the save, didn't know where it was and jumping around. And just as I said, Bottomley was having a fantastic season. He puts one in off of that play and they'll head back to center up one nothing. So the Wolverines bend but not break on the power play. And then a tough one that ends up in the back of the net. And now Rage looking to get that back. Wolverines lead here as we approach the end of the first. Scotland snaps a pass up the right side, past the stick of Bottomley, and now they'll head back the other way. Passed across, down low, Gallant. Moving up along the boards, it's fired into the opposite corner and we'll get a whistle there as Welsh touches it up. 5.46 now left to go here in this period. So we finish up the season here on March 10th, the March 10th weekend, the last regular season weekend. We know that the U15 started a little later than the U18s and the U16s, so they're going the longest into the regular season. And then we're into playoffs and then off to Antigonish for the Provincials in, I guess, just over a month time, or about a month and a half, two months away, and it feels like it's been a long, hard-fought season through Ice Jam, Monctonian, and everything in between. And right now, it's gut check time for a lot of these teams as we head into the final finish here in the U15 League. High Button Sports, proud to be such a big part of it this year. Up to the right side, stepping in with a nice shot there, rolling off the end of the stick, had a chance to shoot as that one was played on down. Now they're gonna plant themselves in front, but held on, backhand, try to jam in front, and it's gonna roll out. And a lucky bounce there for the Rage, who move it down the left side. Sent into the end wall. Tied up down low along the end boards, Gerard over to Hum. Wolverines looking to snap a pass up through the middle and it's Scotland who swings around. Scotland up the right side. Scotland gets clipped, but he gets the puck up ahead. Shot scores. Finished off for the 1-1 as I believe that's Morris. Scotland got knocked. It wouldn't matter and now with 4.31, we're all tied up. And we'll head back to center. Stick went flying, puck got through, and it was finished off. And now we'll continue on. Wolverines now looking to restore that lead they had. It was about 
Three minutes of one nothing play. Left side, push down, now let ahead. That puck is grabbed into the corner and now it'll be fought for, about three on two down there for the Rage, trying to kick that free in the offensive zone. Four minutes left to go here in the first. Up the right side, grab down here, Rage. Gonna fire that one ahead. Right side, big rebound, a front shot scores as Delory gets the next one. And that'll be the 2-1, we'll head to center and just like that in under a minute, the Rage take the lead as the defense breaks down there. The first guy was kinda ready for it but too many purple jerseys coming in and that one's tucked in behind. So now we'll head back to center and now Wolverines on the back foot looking to get some offense going here. Oh, and they're gonna take a moment here to have an extra word. And now everyone's bunching up down there before we start. Refs gonna return to the post. Head back to center and we'll continue on. So nothing coming to that, I suppose, but the goal. Back in behind Todd. Feed over to Basil. Try to get that across to Bottomley. Bottomley. Looking to go up the right side. It's poked in behind again and now twice. And now odd man rush the other way. Passed across, finished off. And just like that, 3-1 as we head to center. And not what the Wolverines needed. Two pinches up the left side. And that'll be 3-1, so Wolverines now looking to get the next one. As 324 remains here in the first. We'll head back to center. Can't let the forwards get in behind you. That was basically a three on O. It's caught Wolverines flat footed. Back over in behind. That one's gonna wrap the wall and try to head up the side. And good finish by the Wolverines. Three quick goals in succession here at the nearing the end of the first period. Ran off into the wall. Back in behind for Corkum. He plays that up. Stick handled. Pass off. Basil takes a whack at it. And along the end boards, bottomly. Bottomly, board battling along the half wall, and that's sent down to Basil. Basil gets pressured, and the Rage come out with it. Down here in front. Back to Bottomly. Bottomly trying to get his team back in this one. Cut off. Bird just going to fire that back in behind. Basil, he collects it. Knocked off his stick in a hurry. Down on the right side. Played back and a far shot from Gerard. Bounces over to River Welsh who chips it up the right side and hustled after. Gallant gets to it first. Good hustle there by Gallant. Trying to put it through to Welsh. It gets chopped and just chopped back in along the end boards. Back down low to the Wolverines. Trying to go up the wall. It's led ahead to McKay. McKay, nice stop up play. It leads the pass but misses the mark. As we're now getting real close to the end of the period and now another odd man rush the other way. Baldwin, chance to shoot and he scores. Lower right side and that'll be the 4-1 here with 96 seconds to go in the first. So after a pretty decent start here for the Wolverines, some work to be done. Rage with four goals and most of them coming off that rush where there's just nothing the goaltender can do. And another chance and another goal as that one's chipped high. And now maybe a timeout or something's gotta be changed up here on the Halifax side. 
five straight goals as we got 129 remaining here in the first. We'll head back to center. Played on over to Boudreaux. Trying to go up through the middle. That one's handed off on the right side and Elaine into the corner. Puck snapped back. And along the wall, 11-11 remaining now here in the first as we're having a pretty quick start to it, but whistles here lately have slowed down this first period and that one's sent down for the icing. One minute exactly left to go here in the first. Five on the score, we've only seen the one power play. One back and shipped over to Moore. He tries to move it up ahead, Smith. Back down in front, looking to spin around in through the center. Rage enter the zone and we're now into our final minute here of the first period. Remember, it'll just be a short break between the first and second as that one's sent on and covered up. On a chilly night here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Almost right down, down. Pretty, pretty dang close to the downtown core as minus seven and hasn't been much warm weather. The sun's been out, but the weather has not been warm here in Nova Scotia. And not to do a little humble brag, but off to Florida for me next week, so. Oh. Take of the sun where you can get it. That one's snapped off up the middle of the Brewer. He tries to hand that to the right side. Pushed off into the half wall and man down as the Rage played that out in front and almost chipped into their own net with just five seconds to go. So I'm pushing and shoving. And with five seconds left, they're getting a, a penalty here against the Rage. Oh no, coincidentals. So we'll continue on five on five, but two young men head to the box is just dropping the puck here. The Bay gonna head in. One ahead. But steered into the corner, and that will do it. So, 5-1 after one. We'll be back for the second shortly. All right, everybody, back here for the second period. As DeBay is going to start us out, work that into the wall, and it'll be knocked on over. Rage looking to bring that in, and it'll go offside. Remember just to give the 
So a quick whistle here for us to start us out in the second period. 7.02 here in Halifax and the last second forward change for the Wolverines. Now kicked out of the dot and we'll drop that in. So Wolverines need to bring it together here for the second period. 20 fresh minutes on the clock. Picked up, Kelly Aida, shot scores! And that'll be 6-1 and not the start that they were looking for here on the Wolverine side. We'll head back to center. So they made the forward change and resulted in a goal from there. So gonna have to get something back here on the Wolverine side. That one put through the middle. Todd's gonna pick it up. Todd tries to knock it out. It's over on the right side. McKnight played across. That rolls off the stick. Todd along the end boards. He'll play it over to Burgess. In front, Nogler pokes that up ahead. McDonald chases after it. Nogler on McDonald. Into the end boards. Puck freed up and trying to jam in from a sharp angle is McKay. Burgess now backhands on. That one steer it up through the middle. Here come the Rage. Down the right side, cut off Burgess. Up to Nogler. Moving ahead, McKay. McKay into the feet. McKay stops. That one fired off the glass. Welsh gonna pick it up. Try to move that up ahead. It's dumped into the opposite zone. Gallant with it. Gallant off the end boards. Corkum getting it on the fun. Drop back Gallant, snapped in front to Welsh. Cut off, pucks in the feet. That one's steered off into the corner and now back in behind. Rage trying to move that puck up. Welsh trying to find some open space. All five Rage players in front as Basile picks it up and rolls off his stick back the other way. Baldwin. Halfway through the deke and a tough bounce down there for number 12, who was trying to get the feet moving and get this puck into the offensive end. Swept on there. Chased after and a shot and scores. Baldwin on the right side. And that'll be the 7-1. So we'll head back to center here. And we'll try again at the start of the second period. And they gotta settle into some sort of rhythm here. As the goaltender gonna change with Landry heading out, taking over. So Wolverines now just looking to move that puck in the right direction here. Up north, try to get some offense set up. Scotland, Scotland's gonna spin around. Down the wall, Gerard. He goes into the half wall. McKay pushing off at it. The Rage have really settled in here the last 10 or so minutes. Shot from distance, and Landry going to cover that one up. There's the whistle coming, and like I said, not much in terms of fluidness to this game here yet, so. I'm gonna pick it up. From the end boards, back over. Hum gets up to McKay. McKay's gonna chip that by, no ice. Hustled after by Burgess on the right side. He catches up to it, plays it back to the line. Quick shot on. And whistle going here. Now with two and a half minutes gone here in the second. And a last second change here for the Wolverines. Hillier tries to fire that up ahead. It's blockered. Ran off into the wall. That puck picked up. Try 
Trying to move it up ahead. It's played on down. Puck then snapped over to Gerard on the right side. Ran off into the boards there, Gerard. Up the wall, Brewer gonna skate for it. McDonald snaps that back in. Cut move there, Morris. Centering pass, shot, save made. Here comes the Wolverines back the other way. Brewer, lead pass over to Monroe. Jumps off Monroe's stick. And now sent it to the bench as Monroe takes an extra knock at Delore and Delore will chirp back at him as we see there in front. And now sending Delore over. He's saying he started it, but we'll continue on here. Back to Todd. Plays it across to Boudreau. Knocked in there the other way. Ray's trying to move it up ahead, just on side. Good job by Kidd. Kidd takes a shot from distance. It's rattling the glass. And now a penalty coming in behind the play here. And the Wolverines headed to the box and not ideal as they're just sort of starting to get their legs under them. Boudreaux will head off and it'll be a power play coming. For the Rage, who currently lead by six here near the start of the second period. Dropped over, Welsh shoots it back in behind, Baldwin. Picks it up off the half wall. Smith tries to take a whack at it. Baldwin shoots it on and Landry will cover it up. 11 seconds into the power play. Back for Scotland. Monroe putting some pressure on Scotland. Over to Monroe, in front. Rage trying to spin it around. Gallant up the right side. Gallant stops. Back to Welsh. Welsh fans on the pass, but still heads off into the corner. Welsh now picking it up. Scotland from distance. Jumps down to McKay. He spins it around and Almost gets out, but kept in by Gallant as he stops up. Nice little play there. Trying to keep it alive. Scotland from the line. Steps in, hands off on the left side. Back near the ring at line. Low shot, Scotland steered into the corner. The captain holding down the blue line here on the power play with a minute gone. Snapped across and rolling off the stick there. Rage now. Pass to Welsh. Welsh shot, rebound in front, but it's spun out of harm's way by Monroe. On a good clear here with 40 seconds to go in the penalty. Up the other way and a break coming. Gerard last minute back over to Gallant. Shot scores as he gets the pass across on the two on one. So a power play marker here. Let's make it 8-1. With 14.38 left to go in the second. Back up the right side. Olmstead steps in for a shot. Wolverines got to show something more here as it goes into the feet and now back the other way. Shot scores from distance. Kalyaita and the turnover costing the Wolverines here and now it'll be 9-1 with a lot of time left here to go in the second period. So we'll head back to center. And the good thing for this Wolverines team is after this period, they will have a break. So maybe a little reset for the third, but gotta get through this period here. No ice as that sent along the end boards. Rage stopping it up. 
13 looking real good for the Rage out there. If he doesn't have three already, he's close. Into the end boards. That one sent up the wall, kept in by Gerard. Steered down low. Up the wall, Bird just tries to get on it. Hum's going to pick it up. Hum, stick handling. He goes down trying to get it out. It's in his arm, and Kid's going to fish it out and turn it north quickly. Shot. Landry makes the save. Over on the right side, into the feet. Morash swipes at it, back to Gerard. Gerard to McKay, trying to get it up ahead, kicked in. Back to Hum. Hum, bringing that puck in himself. Shoots it, goes wide. Picked up and snapped back to Gerard. Gerard picks it up. And it'll be sent for the icing and gotta make sure you have that red line as it's shot down. And we'll head back into the Wolverines end here with 13.07 left to go here as we approach halfway through the game. Corkum, hands on it. Corkum looks to go up the wall, Morash shoots. It's Slap that in front. Perry going to take a shot now. That jumps in behind. Heading off on the right side. It's tied up and will hit Marash as he tries to reach out for it. Picked up. Now moving up ahead, Ald to Lori. And it heads back to McAvoy who snaps it over to the right side. Led ahead and a good stick there by Corkum as he draws the penalty and maybe, oh, it's a charging call. Thought maybe they were gonna get him high on the head contact, but charging instead and the Wolverines will head to the power play and a chance here to get one back. Had the first one here, but haven't scored since. So sending out the first power play unit Bottomley wins it over. Gerard from the line, shot that jumps down in front. Bottomley fishes it out. Nice pass across to the right side. Hum, shoot, save made. And a perfect pass onto the tape there. Into the gut, they get the save. We'll try again. Only 11 seconds into the man advantage. Picked up and hear it high into the mesh right away. Having trouble getting our feet under us. Welsh and Bottomley going at it. Bottomley wins it back clean to Gerard. Gerard shoots, that one's gloved down. And another save there by Sherry. Bottomly from distance, that one a nice save as it came in hot, steered away. Now we're back in behind and Gallant, Gallant shorthanded, moves, scores. Down low, finished off. And that'll be the 10-1 on the shorthanded marker. And we'll head back to center. It seems like nothing's going right here. For this Halifax team who's trying to put up an effort. Olmstead working that around and it's gonna fall down to McAvoy. McAvoy. In along those end boards. Head up the left side, trying to snap that through. Baldwin's gonna cut off that pass. Baldwin in near the ring at line. Snap back in, McAvoy gonna be the first on that puck. Smith. Back to McAvoy. Passed over 
Monroe down here in front. Olmstead, Baldwin in on it. Brewer and Boudreaux helping out. Fished out by Boudreaux, who snaps the pass back to McAvoy. Tries to pick it up on the other side. 29 seconds in that penalty. Good hard hit there by Boudreaux as he moves it ahead. Olmstead elects to take the body. Fanned on by Monroe. Into the corner, Boudreaux, or Brewer. Went a little high on that hit, but it stays down. Baldwin trying to get that pass across. McAvoy picks it up. That's gonna wrap around the end boards as they hustle up for it. Smith gonna pick it up. Smith up the left side. Off a skate, Kid. Kid with a burst of speed there on the left side. He steps in, steered away. McAvoy back in behind for Hillier. Some pressure on Hillier from Burgess. Nogler gonna pick it up. Nogler outside shot in front and a great skate and a great effort by Nogler on the right side. But the save is made and now we are officially inside 10 minutes left to go in the second. It's settled down a little bit. Out there in terms of the scoring, back and forth chances remain. Nogler back to Burgess, nice little backhand pass there. That one's gonna be down low as Hillier trying to ride the back. Snapped in front, Burgess, the shot scores, and Burgess gets one back. Right in front, number nine, gonna put one in and start bringing some momentum back to the other side as the power play over. But one of these goals made up as we'll head back to center. Up the wall, Cluett. He goes to Kid. Kid passes across. Stick lifted over there. Burgess. Down there near the ring at line. Cluett trying to move it up ahead. McKay gonna pick it up. Turn on the Jets. And now McKay with a great burst of speed up the right side on Scotland, who's one of the better skaters on this Rage team. Shows you that foot speed of McKay. Cluett. Air mails one back. Todd snaps the pass up ahead for the Wolverines. Back to Burgess. He hits one through to Nogler, who will change off. Up the left side, great job by Kidd receiving that pass. A lot easier said than done. That pass had some heat on it. In front, shot, and finished off by Kidd. And number 87 gets that last goal back on a great effort from the start of the play to the finish. And it'll be 11 to two here with 8.51 to go in the second period. We'll have our break after this. Morris hit off into the boards. All oh, gonna pick it up, turned over. Oh, and a big save there. As he couldn't let that one in off that turnover and a good save by Landry. As player knocked down in behind. Back in behind, Brewer tries to get that pass snapped out. It's tied up into the feet. McDonald gets the pass across. Back to Brewer. St stolen from him and a good beast of speed by, De speed by Delore down the right side. Gerard fans on it. Gerard's gonna send that back to the line. McDonald walking around. Gerard now, the captain, picks it up. Trying to show some leadership here down. A shot from distance, that one hits the glass. Gerard hustles after it, takes a hit. Brewer picks it up, he tries to spin it around. Oh, and he was about 80% of the way there before the puck flipped up on its side. Back over to Gerard. 
Passed into Bottomley. DeBay picks it up. Wrapping the end boards, back to McDonald. Sent across and trying to chip in behind, elected to take the body. McAvoy gets in on that one as a stick goes flying into the corner. And now a whistle. So we look at the standings and it's maybe not totally ideal for the Wolverine side, as we mentioned, but they have had some good efforts this year. I mean, last week, just against the Gulls, one of the top teams in the league, they were in a battle to the very end of overtime, or I believe maybe even a shootout. I think I was doing a Bedford game at the time, but you know, these games are gonna come here and there, and you just gotta try to find the positives. You're a young first year team. Halifax Wolverines with a strong past of creating players, so you kinda need to trust the process and just go out and give your best effort every night. And Basil is looking to do just that up the right side. Basil, fans on, but stays with it. Re rebound in front, but it jumps over to the right side for Sherry. So, bit of a nice bounce there. Boudreau from distance, and Sherry scoops it up there. 6.43 now. Left to go here in the second. off on the right side. Back to Boudreau who snaps it in and left for Scotland. Scotland up to the middle. McAvoy picks it up. Back hands it over to Burgess. In front, oh, and a big layout hit there. But might have been an interference. Ooh, and Another vicious hit as things getting a little more rough here near the end of this period, despite what's gone on so far. The compete level's gone up the last 10 minutes. Into the corner there. Shot high by Kalita. Back to the blue line. Lockered into the corner. Scotland. Moving around. Scotland up the right side. Collision there as Boudreaux puts the body on the line to make the play. Scotland still with it down low, trying to get it centered as the stick gets up high on Kidd. And it's into the corner. And Kidd. Here at high button, we don't show injuries, so we'll move away there. But we'll take a moment here as they come back and check, and we'll be back in a second. All right, so kid being checked out, but able to head off under his own power. The trainer does come out to look. All right, so we'll continue on here. And now a four minute power play for getting them up high there. Got to match it's the head contact. And it's knocked back out the opposite direction. Bottomley was on Olmstead. Bottomley barrels his way in and holds that puck against the glass for a moment. Trying to move it back. Morris on the left side. He makes a move. Cuts up ahead. Shot low. And that one 
through the five hole and finished off. A few seconds into the power play here. And we'll head back to center. So that penalty will be adjusted to two minutes. Smith chops at that one ahead. It'll go through the feet there, Hillier. Passed over, looking to get it up to Kidd, who's back out there. Up the wall, Monroe is going for a skate. Into the left side corner, they jockey for position. 123. Oh, and some extra push in there by Monroe and Hillier. Oh, and a couple high shots. I don't know if those are going to go over well. With 421 left to go in the second. Yeah, they might just be. Yeah, saying you're done. Monroe out of here. Hillier out of here. 120 left to go in that power play and unsportsmanlike. It is rung him up for as we'll, might have to check the website for the full penalty breakdown on that one, but Kicked off pretty quick there. 120 left to go in that original power play. <laughs> Switched out there, and then a little buzz of the. Oh, last second change, and they. Buzz and we'll try again. Still looking to work it out as puck drop. Here we go, okay, all sorted. Down low, Sherry. Sherry pokes that back in behind for Kid. Kid's gonna turn on the Jets here with a minute and try to head down the other way. Knocked off in the middle. It took a three man sandwich, but they got there. Up the left side. Picked up, clue it over to Kidd. Gerard steps up for a hit. Smith into the corner. Grabbed by Marash. Passes it out to the left side. Trying to steer ahead. That'll go for the ice, 29 seconds on the power play. 3.30 left to go in our second. Tied in there, McKay takes a backhand. That jumps out as a bit of a lull there for the last few minutes. We're back at it, Scotland. Down here in front, Scotland up the right side. Into the end boards with 14 seconds. Sent back the opposite direction. Back to five on five here in a moment. As power play officially over, so one on that power play. Scotland takes a hit and chips it down. Gerard's gonna pick it up off the wall. Send that in behind, Burgess Gonna beat it out, no ice. 
We're just down low. He gets run off into the end boards. Hard fought for as Burgess from the corner. McDonald lays the hit there. Donald lead pass over to the left side. Over to Welsh. Welsh up the right. Welsh has Gallant in the middle, but Hum stops it. Over to McKay. McKay to Burgess. Shot into the right side corner. 2.12 left to go here. In this period now, trying to wrap it in there, Wolverines. Shot from distance. Down to Scotland. Scotland. Head up. So there's a big saucer pass through the middle. Baldwin gets it up ahead to Welsh. Welsh on the break. Shot off the crossbar. Big rebound in front, and it's knocked that into the back of the net. And it'll be... Back to center as the rebound picked up. One forty-eight left to go here in the second. Smith. Left side, that one tied up into the feet. And offside there as they try to move it in as 90 seconds exactly left to go in the second. We'll be going for 10 minutes and back for our 20 minute third as we have the ice done. Back in behind, Chapman Belvo. Pass across, try to get that backhand through and it'll split the five hole and be finished off. So these two teams will go at it again this weekend. So make sure you tune in for that as we're back here at the forum, making up for some of those games. I mean, you don't often see three points or three games Against the same team in succession. And it's actually the Novas on Sunday, so it'll be two against the Rage and then the one against the Novas. So like I said, we finish off with quite a few home games here for the Wolverines. Minute left to go here now in the second frame. Down the right side, Morris. Cut off along the wall, McKay takes a hit. It's freed up for Nogler. Power play coming here for the Wolverines. Try to go up high. And 45 seconds remaining here in the second and we'll head to the box for the Rage. So a late penalty. Taking a moment here to get everyone settled. Four minutes on that penalty, so. Wolverines will start the third period on the power play. Bottomley picks it up. Bottomley tries to fire one there. Down the right side for Gerard. And along the end boards, Gerard over to Hum. He picks it up over the blue line. Down the left side. Hum. Back to Gerard. Hard pass over to Bottomley. Bottomley from distance. Shoots that one. It'll be covered up with 12 seconds to go. So into the home stretch here for the second period.
Back to Gerard. Steered out bottomly. One chance and way offside Basile. So false st start there with two seconds to go. So they'll just drop the puck here and we'll head to our intermission. One back and the whistle will go. So some work to be done for the Wolverine side as we head off. And we'll be done here for you through two, back in 10 minutes for the third period.
All right, everybody, we are back here for the third and final period. Go to the form, it is 20 fresh minutes on the clock. So 3.15 left in penalty kill time. It looks like Hillier's back, so the two gentlemen who were kicked out late at the end of the second, it was just for the period. So we'll get ready here for our 20 minute third as we look to finish this one off, like I said. Like I said, is the rare weekday game. And third period approaching, and if you wanna see more high button action here tonight, the Junior V Penguins taking on the Lumberjacks over on highbuttonsports.ca. And that's gonna be an exciting one as two of the top teams in Junior V going at it. Out in these tants. So you're gonna to wanna to tune in for that later on highbuttonsports.ca as the Junior B Penguins, a longtime client of High Button, looking for their third title in the franchise's history this year. Good season, but also lots of good teams. Bottom, are you gonna pick this up? Over skates is the ice is nice and wet. I think we've ran into that problem around here before, but a quick shot there by Bottom Lee, and hopefully this Wolverine team was able to calm down a little bit in the dressing room and able to finish out here with a good effort in the third period. Up ahead to Gallant. Gallant on the left side. Gallant pass across to Welsh. That misses. 2.34 a power play time here for the Wolverines as that one's kicked up ahead. Hum needs to head back into his zone. Hum up the right side. Hum bringing it in and onside as he draws another penalty. And that'll be five on three for a full two minutes. As Welsh got a hook in on him, it seems. So, power play one out there. One over to Hum. Hum plays that across. Gerard shoots that, stopped in front. Save made there, picked up. Wolverines circling, shot, that one hits the post over to Hum, who puts that through the blue paint, comes out on the other side. Bottomly now. Bottomly to Gerard, down to Hum on the right side. Goalie without his stick. Bottomly shoots high off the crossbar as he looks skyward after a good chance there. Face off, coming now back into the neutral zone. Bottomly gonna scoop that one up, walking the red line, he'll cut out to the right side here, brought in onside, Bottomly stops up. Passes over to Hum. Hum misses the mark on that pass as it jumps in behind and not where he wanted that. Gerard gonna circle back, plays it over to Hum on the left side who switches off with his D partner. Pulled back in. Just holding on to it, that'll head into the left side corner. Basil plays that back in behind himself. Stick handled off the half wall, played over near the ringette line, hard pass across, or a floating pass across that got all the way over. Hum now, minute le 45 seconds left to go in the five on three shot. Sherry blockers that down. Back to Gerard. Gerard steps in with all sorts of time to shoot and Hills fire one home on the left side as that one's put in and they'll get one back here on the five on three. And they'll still remain on the power play as that'll just take one of them off the board and it'll be five on four here for I believe another 37 seconds. Trying to get sorted down there, Monroe. 
in the box there for the Wolverines, but still the five on four. Boudreaux, up to the middle. Shot down low, that one hits a glove and bounces over. Olmstead, back to McAvoy. McAvoy, down the right side to Nogler. Nogler, passed off. Back to Boudreaux. Boudreaux, left side, steps in for a quick shot. That one's gonna hit the side of the net off the stick of Burgess. Burgess pulls over to Nogler and net off by a few inches. We'll get a whistle and we'll keep going here. 21 seconds left to go on that power play. Three minutes gone here in the third. A bit of a better flow here to the start of the third. Still a few whistles, the goal, but like I said, Wolverine just trying to put up a good effort here in this third period. 7.54, Atlantic Standard Time here in Halifax, Nova Scotia on a Wednesday night. Puck dropped in now. Tied up in the feet, that one's gonna jump back to Boudreau. He shoots one, steer it off into the corner for Burgess. Perry into the feet, and it's swept on. Back to McAvoy, he didn't get much of that as it heads over to Boudreau on the half wall. Back to even strength now for the first time this period. Worked around in the feet of Morris. Boudreau in along the boards as well. Morris taken out by McAvoy as a collision there at center. Picked up now down here in front and that one heads back to Perry. Over to the right side, here are the Rage as they circle and hand back to Perry again, try to lead that out. Morris runs into Corkum, comes free there and cut off. Todd now picks it up. Todd up the wall, into the feet there, the Wolverines try to snap that pass through. Heads back, Perry will circle. Head up, pass over to the right side. Almost got it to Kid, but scooped up there. Shot from distance, jumps back down there for Delory. Collision there as Kid elects to take the hit, or lay the hit. That one's chipped down into the right side corner. Todd gets on him, Corkum, fans on. Delory shot, that one up high. As it comes back over for Kid as that's in the right side wall. Brewer trying to stay up on it. Shot from distance. That one goes high again. Scotland gonna cut it off now. Scotland going all the way down with it. Turns it over. Wolverine's got to jump on it. Picked up now McDonald. Packs it over to McDormand. McDormand back down the right side. DeLorean Hum going at it there on the right side. Hum takes a hit. Gerard pulls back. Gerard who was at the showcase game in Cole Harbor in December when we had that a few months ago now, I suppose, as they had three players from each team, the second years come in and showcase the talents. All right, we'll take that power play marker there off the scoreboard as we are back to even strength. Down the left side, Wolverines step up, missing the stick there at Bottomley. Back in behind, Basil and Bottomley going at it as well. Picked up now, through the middle, that one jumps off into the corner, Basil. Try to work, move it around and it was free for just a moment in the blue paint, but then it's up off the glass. Collision there. Basil looking to cut off Kid. Hits laid there. Back to Gerard. Gerard spins out. Clue it over to McKnight. Clue it, shot, save made. Poke back from distance. Olmstead working back around to Gerard. Up the wall, Smith 
Spins off of it and gets the pass there. Bottomley now, down the right side. Stick candles, fires that into the glove. They're saying play it. As Wolverines were getting a change in. That one bounces off the boards. McAvoy trying to get ahead, clue it. Clue it down the right side into the skate. Burgess, up to McKay. And back to Olmstead. McKay will shoot that back to his defender. Try to move it up the middle. Nice pass to Burgess who has a lane. Burgess gets tripped up and the arm goes up. Nogler though, shot in tight. Touched up. And now it'll be back to the power play here. Two minutes on the holding call. So the Wolverines, another look here on the man advantage as we work our way through the third period here. He's soft down here in the rage end. And along the boards, Rage gonna pick that up and fire it down. Clark, who's back in here for the third period, stops that up. Over to McAvoy. McAvoy up the wall to Burgess. Burgess brings that puck in. Fires that along the end boards. It heads over to McAvoy. Snaps that down to Nogler. Trying to poke that free. It's into the feet there. And up the wall. Back into McAvoy. McAvoy with a cut move. Gets that down to his winger, McKay. Slapped on and Rage will clear the zone. Clark leaves it for McAvoy. He collects behind his own net. 50 seconds gone there on the power play. Wolverines over to the right side. Burgess. Burgess over the blue line. Burgess, a hard pass across. It was right on the money, but slipped under the stick, and Boudreaux couldn't quite catch up to him. He takes a big hit there along the boards. Gerard steps in the D-man, still on the man advantage. That one through the feet there, Boudreaux, as he looks skyward. Back in behind for Boudreaux. Boudreaux looking to go for a skate. 39 seconds left to go on the man advantage. Boudreau down the left side, pushes McDonald down and cancels out his team's penalty. Let's guess if it's cross check. Yep, that's what I figured could have been interference too maybe. And that'll cancel out the power play for the smooth skating Boudreau. <laughs> Pardon me. And now it'll be 32 seconds of four on four. And a minute and a half of power play time here for the boys in purple. Up a couple in this one. Looking for a strong finish to their season here. Wolverines, Hum picks it up over to Smith. Let up ahead into the feet. Hum up the left side. Shoots. Steered into the boards. It'll be moved back the opposite direction. And now Gerard. Heading after it, and because of the 10 seconds of four on four play remaining, that one will go for an icing. Here at the form on a Wednesday night. One on back for the Rage. Scotland, he'll look to Push that up, uses Baldwin as a semi-pick, but it's knocked off his stick. And I do tell you, when you look at it from this angle, this bird's eye view, these players are moving fast out there. Scotland had some real speed up the middle there, and those collisions cannot feel good when they end up running into another player. Scotland hands that off. Picked up there by Welsh. River Welsh up the right side, drop pass. Connects on that one-timer, Baldwin, and a hard shot. On the left side, we'll add to the total. And we'll head back to center here with 10.40 left to go in the third. So a much more fluent period here in our third frame. 8.03 p.m. here. It's tied up. One over for the Rage. Morris, Morris takes a bit of a bump there from Gerard. Ald gonna spin around, Ald loses it. The 
Wrong time, but Hum bails him out. Brewer on the side, Brewer fighting at it. Chipped up the wall. That one hits a glove there from the Rage. Yeah, this is gonna be a tight one there as we approach the last 10 minutes of this one. We'll go back at it. This, what I believe is this Saturday and I'll be on the call for that game as well. Back here at the Forum. So maybe a little bit of redemption potentially for this Wolverines team. Five p.m. I believe Saturday night we'll be back at it. Halifax wins that over. Up ahead, Olmstead trying to push that puck through. Delorean along the boards. It'll be sent on back. Gerard chasing. Gerard drops back to Hum. Hum from the back end turned over. Tough turnover as that one fanned on into the corner. Now we are officially inside. Ten minutes to go. Gerard. Back over Brewer, he slips at it and gets it ahead and now it'll be a two on one. Back to even strength, two on one Wolverines. Shot left side, save made on all. He's soft. Down here on the left side. Smith and Kidd tied up for it. Todd from the line, steered ahead. Wolverines put the first one in in this game. And it was all rage for a few periods there and a little more even here in the third. Just inside 10 minute, passed across to Kidd. It slips under 87 stick. Moving around, gets a pass over. In front, down to Cluett. Cluett. Trying to wrap in, it's in the feet there. Still on it, one whack at it by Cluett and now covered up. Down here on the left side. Like I said, the action not over here on high button. We're gonna be heading out to East Hance for a 9.30 start, late start for the Junior B Penguins with their makeup game with the Lumberjacks. A little bit of drama heading into that game as well. Based off the nature of that game being canceled a few weeks ago and Penguins saying they would play it and everything being sorted like that, but it's quite the game as a hit laid on Kidd and that'll be a penalty here as we approach the end of this one. Bottomley not too happy out there and lays the hit and we'll see and await the ref's call. Could be an extended penalty here. As you can kind of see, he definitely got him there on the back side. And we'll head down the left side and looks like the ref still sorting out and they're gonna give it to him. Gonna, gonna give him the boot. So Bottomley will be gone here for the remainder of this one. Started out the scoring, but now we'll head off. Oh, and they started cheering on the, uh, oh no. They started cheering on the Rage bench, and then they teed him up for another, for an un, uh, what I believe is an unsportsmanlike. So Scotland tried to, the captain tried to quiet his team down. Scotland and Welsh both did, but just the slightest cheer was enough. And now the rage. So five minute penalty against Bottomley there. And then a two minute with 8.54 left to go in the third. And the notepads come out at center. That's when you know things have gotten serious here late.
Looks like it'll be four on four. Someone's gonna have to head off. All right, so we're back at it here. Face off on the left side. Rage pick it up. Four on four here for an extended two minutes. Olmstead, sorry, Scotland passes that over to Cluett. Cluett misses that, and Scotland tries to get it on his backhand. It'll be sent on out. Up the right side, big strides heading down and picking up speed and space. Knocked back over for the Rage. Spin around there by Scotland. Sucked on back to Gallant. Scotland. Moving up ahead, 44, holds on for an extended time and it's steered away. Back in behind, try to center. Clue it, snapped on. Steer it in front and a hit laid as they try to finish that puck off. It's still loose. Kicked out shot high by Scotland as he fired that one in. Over to Gallant. Gallant. Drops back to Scotland. Left side. Five seconds left to go in that initial penalty, so it'll be to the power play here for the Rage for three minutes. Stopped in behind, and Scotland finishes off. The D-man led to his goal total. And 6.47 left to go here in the third. Rage, play that down. In along the wall, McDonald snaps it back. McDonald. Up the right side. Into the middle and bottom leads, or sorry, McKay is gonna take that and fire that down. Snap pass up the right side, 229 remaining on the power play. Over to McDormand. McKay picks it up off the hop, tries to get it back to McDonald. Still on it, McKay just gonna clear that out. 2.09. Sherry touches that up. Right side kicked up ahead. McKay gonna pull that puck in. Sent back down and behind. Sherry slips by his stick. Boudreaux going for McDonald as Sent back in behind, Marash. Delory, offside. And an extra push there by Boudreaux. Uh-oh, stepping up and storming over, but cut off before anything else could happen. And I gotta imagine the power play here. 5.33 left to go here in the third. So three players kicked out for the Wolverines here. <laughs> I believe at some point in this game.
The faceoff will come down here on the left side. Nope, we're moving over to the right side. Into the feet, try to tie that up. It'll head back here to Perry. Perry over to Olmstead. Olmstead rebound there in front. Swept on. Picked up and played over to the right side. That one blocked by Burgess. Gets a cheer from the bench. So it's five on three for a minute 16, an extended time here. Picked up off the wall, back in behind. Perry's gonna chase after it. Up to McKnight. Hand it over, oh, and a big collision there on Morris as Hum stepped up. And the biggest hit of the game coming late here. That one sent down, obviously five on three, so no icing there. Burgess comfortably the first man in, but he's gonna have to take on a couple of Rage players as they look to move that puck north. Kicked up ahead, McKnight played across to Morris. Ran to the boards there, into the feet of Hillier. Played across for Scotland. Scotland circling back here with 4.11 left to go in the third. Scotland over the red line. Brought in over the blue. Scotland up the left side with a lane. He tries to guide that puck in on the right side of the net. Back down to Scotland, one penalty's over. Basile back out there. Pressure on Scotland who spins out of it. Good strides down the right side. Rebound, Clark lays out. And the save made there. 2.10 left to go on that original five minute penalty and 3.49 to go here in the third. Picked up by the Rage. Played across, Morash shot in. Swept on in behind McDonald. Passed across. Gallant just brings it onside, stays onside. Swept on now, that puck's gonna be knocked back through the middle, McDonald chasing. Hand it off. Welsh, down the left side, Welsh. Cut back around, back to McDonald. From distance, that one into the mesh. And another whistle here, just under three minutes to go. So Wolverines will probably learn from this one and try to adjust for the rematch on Saturday. Like I said, we'll be back at it. That one snapped through the middle and over the stick of Mirage. Sent back in behind for McDonald. McDonald passes over. Connects on the left side there to Gallant. Gallant over to Welsh. Pushing on Welsh, Gallant. Snapped in front, Baldwin fans on it. Back to McDonald. Gallant shot into the middle. And sent on down to Sherry. And labored heading off there as the captain Gerard as he took that one as a gut shot. As Marash falls down there at center and still gets the puck off to Baldwin. Still 31 seconds of PK time. McAvoy down low. Back to the line, McDonald picks it up. Gets it over to Kidd. Power play time still, 1.47 left to go in the game. Right side, that one's shot wide. Chased after. McDonald needs to circle and that will do it for the power plays. So back to even strength for the first time in a while to finish us off. 
Under 90 seconds to play. That one steered over and covered, covered up by Clark. McAvoy in behind for Hum. Over to Brewer. Knocked back. Olmstead's gonna pick it up. Olmstead. Over to Ald. Ald gets the pass across. Trying to get it up the wall here, and it'll be our final minute of play here in our Wednesday night game. That one's covered up. And with 58 seconds to go, face off down here in the rage end. Dropped on back, Hum shoots that one wide, trying to sharp angle, that one jumps up on the back of the net. Ref is gonna try to let them play it out and it'll finally get loosened up there. Pushing and shoving back there, still loose. Gonna take a lot for the ref to call a penalty right now. Back through the middle, kept in by the Wolverines. Into the middle, that one spun out. McAvoy, last man back, but he'll take a skate at it. Shoot it now, 22 seconds to go, Hillier. Back over, that one's chopped at. Lead pass to Morris. One last chance here for Morris, poked off. Ooh, and an extra push there by Hum. If they were covering the head contacts, that one might have got them one, but just looking to finish it out at this point. McAvoy lays a hit, and they're gonna continue on, but that'll do it. Try to keep them separated to finish us off. Oh, yep, yeah, and that'll do it. So we appreciate you tuning in here on High Button Sports. Another game in the books, and we'll be back at it Saturday here on the High Button Wolverines channel. See 